I'm often asked how long it takes if someone's arrested for a violation of immigration law, would it take for them to be deported? Um, if you're arrested at the border, it's a pretty fast procedure. I believe they hold you for a week or two and then they send you back. That's typically in the southern border of um, in our southern border, where they, if they catch someone crossing, they're able to send them back pretty uh, pretty quickly. However, anywhere else, I mean that typically technically that applies to anything within a hundred miles of the of any border, which covers most of the United States. Um, but typically, aside from being arrested at the border in the at the southern border. Uh, usually it takes many, many months, sometimes years. They will, you'll be arrested. You'll be put in detention. You'll be allowed to possibly post bond, which would allow you to return to the community until you have your trial date. And excuse me, it can take years, uh, before you have a hearing, before you have a trial after the trial, there's a possibility for appeal. So it's not a fast process. It's, it's, most of the time and most persons can get out on bond um, there are some people that may not depending on how, depending on whether they've been caught before there's many different criteria um, but if you're out on bond you'll be back in the community until you have a trial date the trial date could be nine months a year away so it's not a quick process and in the meantime you can you know put, make other petitions and make other moves to try to show that you're uh that you should be allowed to remain in the United States. Um, it's important that you contact an attorney. This is a legal process. It's basically like a criminal trial, whether they're gonna convict you of violating uh, uh, immigration law. So contact an attorney that's experienced in this field. Uh, if you have questions about this or any other subject, feel free to contact us.